Five people were killed and 10 others were injured in a Gaza refugee camp Friday when an aid airdrop package malfunctioned, causing at least one parachute to fail to deploy properly. Among the casualties were two boys, and those injured were reported to be between 30 and 50 years old. The airdrops, conducted by the U.S., Jordan, Egypt, France, the Netherlands, and Belgium, provide essential supplies to Gaza residents amidst a worsening humanitarian crisis. While initial investigations suggest the U.S. airdrop may not have caused the fatalities, further inquiries are ongoing. Video footage captured the chaotic scene as aid parcels parachuted into Gaza. One particular pallet, with its chute partially deployed, fell rapidly toward a residential area. Although most parachutes appeared to function correctly, the rapid descent of some parcels posed a significant risk to those on the ground. The incident underscores the challenges faced in delivering aid to Gaza, which has been grappling with a dire shortage of essential supplies. Despite international efforts, criticisms have been raised regarding the effectiveness of airdrops in addressing the urgent needs of Gaza's population. The U.S. recently announced plans to build a temporary pier on Gaza's coast to facilitate the direct shipment of humanitarian aid. However, it's going to take weeks before this project can be operational, leaving many Gazans dependent on airdrops for immediate relief.